What is up fellow game developers, my name is Tyler Potts and welcome back to the Muddy Wolf Studio YouTube channel. In, we're going to be continuing on with our 2D platformer series, this will be the player movement um, and physics. So we're going to be setting up the default player and also setting up his movement. Now to do this we're going to be, we, I was going to do the pixel art first but I thought it's actually better to get the movement in before you add in the animation so you know what sort of animations you're wanting to create. So in this video, we're going to be doing just that. So first things first, in the bottom left, I've added some new um, folders, scripts and sprites. There's nothing in them currently, but you can see that there. We can actually change this to a different view as well, if you wanted. And then you can see it there. So we've got new scripts there. I prefer one column, but you choose whatever you want. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new sprite. We're going to go create. We're going to go sprite. And you can see here you've got a bunch of different things, which is really cool. I only learned about this today. So I'm going to click square and I'm just going to call it square. <laughs> so let's drag this square into our scene. And now we have a square on our scene. This is being annoying. Go away, you. Um, so now on our square. Oh, also on the right, I click debug. I'm going to go back to normal so you only see the, the default stuff here. You don't need all that stuff. And this is going to be our ground element. So this is what we're going to stand on to start off. I'm going to make it slightly gray, just so it's not white. I think white hurts the eyes a little. Uh, I'm going to set its X value to 32 and its Y value to 3. And we're going to put this at minus 7.5. Perfect. So now it's at the bottom of our game. You can see down there. Um, and I'm going to give this a box collider 2D. This box collider basically... It's just so when we drop a player, it will connect to it. So that's all the box collider does. It is literally a collider, which you can box. You can see the little green outline there. Um, oh. um, if I click edit, we can make it bigger or smaller, depending on how you want to see. You could actually have him sitting slightly in, which will make the game feel like the player is stood on top, like a kind of 2.5D uh, game. We're going to set it. I'm going to set this back to 1 and this to 0, so it's back in its original position. Now, let's create our player. So we're also going to do the player for now again as a square, but we will be adding it in the sprites later on. So let's go here, let's call the player player. And we're just going to give him a different color. I'm going to give him a slightly red tinge just so I can see a bit of difference, especially when we add in more objects. And as you can see, there is our player. Now, actually going to go to the main character. I'm going to make this more of a whitey gray. So a bit more there you go. Oh, maybe that's a bit too bright. That's bright. Too bright. Let's give it a side E, E, E. No, maybe not. Let's give it a D, D, D. D, 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 D. A, A. You know, let's go A, A. A, A. Oh, that'll do. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the background color is right now. So on our player, we need to also give him a tag of player. And on our ground, we also want to give a ground layer or, or a layer of ground. If this ground layer doesn't exist for you, you can go to adds layer and add in this new layer. It's called ground. I don't get why there's blank layers. I don't understand. I don't understand that. Anyway, um, and if you want a separate tag, you can also create a tag up here called ground. Re-click on the ground object and re-add them in. So your layer and ground is now there. We will then be moving or on our player, we're going to be adding in a box collider 2D, but we're also going to be added in a rigid body 2D. Um, and we're going to change the collision detection to continuous, so it's always checking for the collision, so it doesn't phase through objects even slightly. Um, and the gravity scale, we're going to set to 5, so this will make our player fall a lot faster. So if we now hit play, you will see our player should just fall straight down. There you go, and he lands straight on the ground, which is perfect. Um, but we can now, we can't move, you can't do anything once you're there. So we're going to add in a player movement script. Um, we're just going to create it, click create and add. And then I'm going to drag this player movement script into our scripts folder. And I'm going to double click it to open it up. Now our script is open, I'm just going to delete this, I'm going to reformat this, and there we go. Now what I'm going to do in here is create two variables. I'm going to create a public float called movement speed. I'm also going to create another public rigid body 2D 
called RB, which is going to be our, what we're going to use to add velocity and forces to our player. We are then going to um, go into the... Well, we're actually going to create one more variable. Oh, I created an update somehow without even trying. Um, it's going to be a private float, and we're going to call this one MX. And this just stands for the movement on the X axis. We're going to get some raw input and apply it straight to our player. So we're just going to go into update. I'm going to say MX is equal to input dot get axis raw. And I'm going to say horizontal. Now you're probably wondering what is this line of code here if you haven't if you're not very familiar with Unity or Unity Script. Um, you'll see here that input is a class and we use it to get all our input system, like what keys you press, if the where the mouse is and stuff like that. And you can see here get axis raw basically returns the value of the virtual axis identified by axis name with no smoothing filtering applied. And we're going to get the horizontal, which means the x axis on the left going along this way, which is perfect. One thing we should do is we can change this stuff and we can also get the vertical as well to up and down. So horizontal axis could is also going for A and B or and it's also the left uh, mouse button and the right mouse button. But this is all we need to set in our update function. The next part we need to do is go to our, create a fixed update and we're just going to say, um, we're going to create a new vector 2. We'll call it movement or movement x. We'll call it movement and we'll say, we'll create a new vector 2 and we'll say the x value is x times movement speed. And we're also going to say that the um, y value is rb dot velocity dot y so we're just going to grab our current velocity on the y axis so we're not changing it we're then going to say R, rb dot velocity equal to movement and that is all you need to do to be able to move your player so if we now go back into our unity scene click play actually before we click play we need to click on player change its movement speed to 10 for instance and its rigid body we're just going to drag it in from up here and drop it in we're then going to hit save and I'm just going to hit play. Now once it's playing, you can see if you pressed A or D, you go left and right. Or if you use your arrow keys as well, left and right, you can uh, move left and right. But that is all we're going to go over in this video. I hope you learned something new. I hope you're set, setting up your own uh, movement script. In the next video, we're going to be setting up the jumping. And then the video after that, we'll probably go in to do some animation and actually create our assets, our sprites and stuff. So... If you guys want to go ahead and start making your own jump already, then feel free to do so. I have tutorials on my video to help you out with jumping already. Uh, double jumping to be exact, so it's even more jumpiness. But in this, for now, we're going to end this here, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, keep muddy, and peace out. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sunrise.